Hi, we are a uh, smart helmet team. Uh, we built a smart uh, connected bicycle helmet. Uh, this not only detects crashes, but it actually notifies us, uh, the uh, emergency contacts uh, via your air phone. So this is the helmet that was built part of the collaborative program this summer, uh, summer of 2014. And I have Kyle, who's going to demo the smart helmet features. So Kyle. So yeah, like Abay said, what we have here is a smart connected bicycle helmet. And uh, let me just walk you through what's, what's physically in my hands. So what we did was we custom designed a 3D printed and 3D printed this outer shell of this helmet here. And then inside we carved out an existing helmet and uh, outfitted the inside so that it can go on your head just like a regular helmet does. Beyond that, we uh, outfitted it with a whole bunch of sensors and electronics. And um, you know our, our goal was to improve safety. And so <clears throat> what we do is we, we detect crashes. And with a crash, you know what, what, what services can we offer the person who was in a crash? Kind of like OnStar for your car. And so uh, what's going to happen in this demo is we're going to simulate a crash uh, by just like dropping the helmet on the table here. And, uh, <clears throat> and then a, a, a sequence of events are going to occur. Um, you're gonna get prompted audibly using the speakers that are in the helmet here. And it'll say, hey, we've detected a crash. Can you verify this? And um, you have the option of using voice recognition and canceling the crash using the onboard mic, or you can cancel the crash on the Bluetooth connected cell phone. Um, but if you don't do anything, you know, maybe you experience a concussion or maybe you're unconscious. If nothing, help if nothing happens, we assume the worst, we assume there was a crash. And so we do a few things to try and help you out. We send a text message to an emergency contact that you specify on the smartphone app. And we also link up a call, um, just like OnStar. So it's a, it's a Bluetooth connected headset. And so the call will get linked to your emergency contact and you can explain to them the situation. Beyond that, when the call comes back, we uh, give the user a, a qualitative concussion analysis test. And we talk to doctors and we ask them what kind of questions do you ask um, for example, when you rush out on the football field to see if they're, uh, after, after a collision, was, is, is the uh, player concussed? And so what we did was we took those um, questions and refactored them for, for a smartphone interface. And so we also collect all that data and uh, send that to your emergency contact as well. Beyond that, we publish all the crash data that we collect um, to, uh, to the website. And the website shows location of crashes, time of crashes, and you know where on the skull the crash occurred. And uh, so without further ado, I'll in introduce Anika here. And uh, Anika will run you through the smartphone app that we built. So just gonna run you through the app real quick. So here we have our diagnostic interface. So this basically shows you what, uh, what sensors are in the helmet and how they're being uh, or what data they're receiving. So we have an accelerometer, gyroscope, magnetometer, and then a 200G accelerometer as long as uh, four force sensors. And these bars will, will move according to the sensor data that's being picked up from the helmet. Uh, moving over another tab, we have a rides interface where the user can start a new ride and it will show analytics based off of distance, speed, and the time of the ride, as well as giving a Google map which shows the trail that the user has gone through. On the next page we have our settings, and you can set your emergency contact as well as calibrate the helmet. So let's uh, start a new ride here, and now it's connecting to the helmet. And now we can see that the Google map is locating on our position and it's displaying all the right analytics such as distance and speed and time, et cetera. And if we go back to the diagnostics page, if Kyle moves the helmet around here, we can see that the sensors are picking up data and updating on the, on the fly. So now let's simulate a crash. So Kyle, if you could. Cool, so yeah, um, like, like Anik had said, you can adjust the sensitivity of the, uh, of the helmet and we've tuned it down so we can simply drop the helmet here on the table and a crash gets simulated. So just as I explained, on the app you're prompted, it says we've experienced a crash and it allows you to cancel it if you'd like to. Um, and, uh, but if you do nothing, then uh, we, we assume that a crash has happened. And so if we wait for the timeout here, 
a call will be initiated. And there you go. And so a call was initiated, it's connected to the helmet, and it's calling an emergency contact. Yeah. Along with the call, there's also a text message that sends the location. Yeah, so now my phone over here should be buzzing. Yep, so now I'm getting a call from the helmet, and if I choose to answer the call, it will connect to the helmet, and the helmet will act as a headset device while paired with this phone. So now there's two-way communication between this phone and the helmet. So any emergency services can talk to the user no matter what their condition is. So if we end the call on the helmet connected device, what we're prompted with is a concussion analysis test. And so, like, like I said, we, we talked to doctors and we asked what kind of questions can we ask. And so they needed to be basic questions um, that require just a minimal amount of thinking. And so, for example, the first question is, please input the time on this analog clock that doesn't have any numbers on it. And uh, you select the correct time. And after I go through this entire test, it will record the results of the test and send the text message off to the emergency contact. And the last piece of it is here on the website we build, all the crash data gets uploaded and um, populated on this map here. And you can see the location of the most recent crash, as well as where on the skull um, the crash occurred. And uh, here we have a 3D render of the helmet. And that's the uh, smart helmet demonstration.